Hi, I'm Naridan Sari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a function in Unreal Engine 5 with blueprints. So without any further ado, let's begin. First question is why you should use functions at all? So functions make our blueprints more readable, more reliable and more reusable. So that's why we always use functions for creating our game in Unreal Engine 5. So for creating one, you can see that we have this simple first-person shooter game and if we open up the open level blueprint and you remember from last video we did talk about variables, we did talk about nodes, pins, delays, print, a string and everything and you, if you didn't watch it, you should know that I want to create full playlist of beginner course for blueprints in Unreal Engine 5 for free so just check that playlist and before that I did create a playlist for uh, some cool tips and beginner guides for Unreal Engine itself so with that let's just create our function for creating our function just go here and add, click on this add button in here you should name your function I want to call it welcome message for example so we want to create this function uh, that um, whenever we use it we give it a name and it will show a welcome message to the player okay so this was the name welcome message and you can see that this is the entry point for our function so in here if we use our function just bring it drag and drop it from here to here you can see that our function has an exec execution pin so we can use that and in this event begin play that is playing once when our level is run okay so let's just connect this to here and know our function will be run now let's just go to our function by clicking on this you can see that this is event graph and this is our function Another way to go to our function is in event graph. When, wherever we use it, we can double click on it and we go to our function and we can write code for it. First thing that I want to show you, if you click on this node, in here you can specify some inputs and some outputs, okay? So maybe your function has output or not and sometimes it doesn't have input as well so for example in here we want to say whenever this function is called just print something okay so like this print a, str a string and say welcome to our game and with that we didn't give an input or output to this function but it will work okay so if we go to our game and run it and you can see that it says welcome to our game let's just go back and stop our simulation double click on our function so now i want to talk about input and output so in here if you click on this entry point entry node in our function we can give it inputs and outputs for example i want to give it an input in here of type of a string okay so we did talk about a string in last video so if we set it to a string give it a name let's say first name okay so it will create a pin in here of type of a string and if we compile it and save it and if we go to our event graph, you can see the first name is here now. And we can give it a value like Navid. So this Navid is a string, okay? So we can have this first name and we can set it to this input pin string in here. And instead of uh, the string that we wrote in there, it will write this first name that we give it in this event graph in here of course we can right click on this pin in here and promote it to variable in here and if we click it it says please compile the blueprint if we compile it we can set it in here so we can write whatever we want in here and pass it to our function again double click on your function and in here let's just delete this print a string because we want to say welcome to our game to the this person that 
he or she put his name in so know that we have the first name we can show the water message we want with that first name so drag and drop on this first name and search for attend okay click on it and what this function do it will append the text to this first name that we want so there will be our first name and after our first name will be this string that we put in here so let's say with a space at the first at the beginning of it what's up okay and now with this first it will put the uh, first name that it get it from here and after that append a whatsapp string at the end of it so we can uh, use this return value in here and print it to our, to our screen or lights okay so in here it will show it but before we before we play it we should link this execution pin to this print so it will show it so let's just compile it save it and run our game and you can see it says navit what's up okay what's up and you can see it in the output log as well so again let's just stop our simulation and let's use this append one more time if you add another pin you can connect this first name to the b and instead of this let's just break all pin from here hello so what what this will do it says hello the first name that we give this to this function and after that we say what's up okay so let's see how it will work compile and save again let's just run it and you can see it says hello navid what's up and you can see it in output log as well so again let's just stop our simulation and in here i want to talk about outputs so what outputs means if you click on this uh enter note in here you can create output in here okay so click on plus in here and it will give you a return note okay so let's just delete this print string and click on this return note that you can see the type that is returning is this and for the name of this input i want to say welcome message okay so know that we have this we can link this execution pin to this and give this return value that we create in here that said hello the first name and after that what's up to the welcome message in here okay now if we compile and save our function and go to event graph now you can see that there is a welcome message pin in here okay so now we can create a delay in here for something like two seconds and after it's this delay is completed we can print the string that we get from our welcome message function so print a string so this print a string saying what i i should show so we give this welcome message return that it will return from our function to the input of this printer string but you can see that this link is going through this so what we can do about it if we hit middlemost double time on this link it will create a node in here that we can reposition this link in here let's just do this for this side as well and change its position no it you can see that is more clear we can organize everything know that everything is okay let's just go save and compile everything and go to our game play it and can see after two seconds it says hello navid what's up and again we can select all of these nodes and right click on them create a comment for them so it will be more readable to do it this way just stop your game and after that go to this comment double click on it so it's a we want to call it welcome message with function 
so no whenever we zoom out we know this section is doing welcome message with function and we can change the position of all of these nodes by just drag drag and dropping this box in here so the next thing that i want to show you in this welcome message we did talk about this return node and we did talk about inputs but i want to show you some other property in here first of all this description so whoever want to use our function should know what this function is doing without read all of the nodes inside this function so we should give it a description like i want to do in here this function is appending your first name with a welcome message and if we go to event graph no let's just compile and hover over over function you can see that uh, it will give a whoever who want to use or function a tooltip when they hover over it again let's just go back to our function click on welcome message this entry node in here and after that the category why you want to use category when you have a lot of function you should use category in them so this function is all about appending a string so i want to put it in the string category in here so whenever we want to use uh, a function of us of ours that uh, is for a string we can just expand this string and find that function in here again double click on welcome message and click on this entry node and again keyword is for searching your function so for finding your function you can just search welcome message but it's too long in here you can give it a keyword so like wm and whenever you search for this wm it will find your function so for example let's just go to event graph and for this let's just say wm and you can see it find our welcome message function fast and you don't need to write welcome message again so another property that i want to talk about this compact node title okay let's just go back to event graph you can see that it has some nodes some input some output or function has input and output right so if we set this compact title to something like welcome and go to event graph compile and you can see it's just showing the welcome okay it's more compact now right so again let's just go back to our function the next property is public if you set it to public you can use this function wherever whenever you want but if you set it to private you can use this function just in event graph or wherever you create it so in this case it will be just accessible in event graph not everywhere so let's just put it in public again next property that i want to talk about is this pure the pure when you check it you said to unreal engine that this function doesn't change any of variables so it is pure but if we if it get a variable and change that variable it will be impure okay so let's just check it and compile it if you go to event graph no and you can see that you don't need to give it an exec execution pin anymore you can just give it a first name and it will create your message and it will give it to your print a, st a string okay so now everything is more clear now next property is colon editor i don't want to talk about this because in the future video i will talk about it a lot so with that said this is the end of video it's my honor to have you at the end of this video please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot and subscribe to my channel it motivates me to create more videos for beginners and even pros. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.